we're working now. It's taken me three attempts to get this working. First of all, the camera wouldn't stand up because I'm still having my really heavy bridge camera. Secondly, I'm going to try and put this down. Secondly, stay. Um, it said no memory and I'm like what I've got a 32 gigabyte card in there no I hadn't it was still in my laptop because I was uploading my vlog last night so this is the third attempt now so good morning everybody welcome to a new week da, 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 da. Um, I wanted to start off this vlog talking a little bit about stress and how stress affects fibromyalgia and ME. So I may have gone over it a little bit last another time. Don't worry about what I'm doing, I'm just fiddling because I'm I want to get some craft done before my mum and dad come to take me out for lunch. So yeah, I may have gone over it a little bit before. Um but stress has a major impact on the body, okay? It's not just fibromyalgia and ME. Anybody, anybody's body, stress has a major impact on it. Unless you deal with it. Unless you get rid of it. Because if you don't, or you just let that feeling brew and suppress it, those layers of suppression build up to pain. So it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea to just ignore it. And I'm talking any stress. I'm not talking, I mean, day to day stress like, oh, I've just dropped a cup or, you know, oh, I've got so much washing to do. Yeah, that that's kind of stress, but this isn't the sort of stress I'm talking about because that's daily stress. And we always deal with those daily stresses. I'm talking about um, the kind of stress that happens when you're affected by someone you love, someone you care about, um, or someone else is suffering that str Sorry, that just pinged off. You are joking me. I've got to try and fit it through that little hole now. Okay, I think I'll be adding pliers to my birthday list as well. Right, sorry, I shall continue. So, yeah, I'm talking about the kind of stress that you feel for a loved one or if something happens to you with a loved one. Maybe you have a major argument or, or maybe you're trying to help someone that you love. Now, my counsellor always said to me, if it's not your stress, if it's not, you're not the one that's going through it, get rid of it. I mean, don't ignore it. Don't tell them to go and just deal with it. But shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off. So you can literally stand there and go, this is not my stress. This is not my stress. Or you know, get rid of this stress because it doesn't belong to you and you can shake it out or you could go for a big walk or a bike ride or something and that gets rid of it, yeah? I don't know how I'm going to do this, sorry. I'm just, I think I'll leave the big ones till later. I'll do the little ones first. Yeah, there's that kind of stress but the impact that it has on fibromyalgia and ME in my experience, everyone's experience is different, but this is my experience. This isn't going to work, guys. I'm just going to have to find some pliers. So much for getting some craft done. Um, this is my experience. So if I suffer a huge amount of stress with anything, which I'm going to because I'm human. All humans suffer stress. Otherwise, we wouldn't be human. You know, so when I have a lot of stress in my life, it builds up inside me and acts as pain. 
because my counsellor said I've had so much trauma in my life so far, um, my body now is literally, you know, has so many layers of suppression because that's what I used to do. I used to suppress all my feelings and not listen to what my body was telling me, which is how I've kind of ended up like I am. So don't do that. But, um, yeah, so as soon as I experience any stress, the, it goes automatically to my pain. Um, last night, it, oh, I can't see my mouth. It felt like, around this arm at the top, it felt like there was a band and someone was like tightening and tightening and tightening it. And I couldn't do anything about it, but it hurt so badly. I felt like I'd been hit by a bus, literally. My body ached and I want to also say to the people that are watching this vlog that love and care about me, don't feel, oh my goodness, we can't let her have any stress. I can't, you know, tell her anything or pass any of my worries or anything like that onto her because it's going to create pain. That's not your problem. It's my problem. So I, I don't want that to happen. I want you to talk to me. I want, obviously, I want my children to come to me. I want Mark to come to me. I want anyone to come to me that needs me and needs my help. But for me, it's getting rid of that stress. And that's really hard really hard to do so I just wanted to take a moment to go through that with you because a lot of people that suffer chronic pain they might be able to see that connection between stress and pain they might not so therefore I'm trying to help you by saying giving you some advice write it down go for a walk if you can't go for a walk shake it out talk to someone about it get it out you've got to get it out because if you don't it suppresses again and you can imagine a bit like a pressure cooker so all of these levels are going up 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 and then you're just like your body can't take it it's like what's going on your body's doing the best it can you know and you've got to treat it with respect and try and give it a bit of a hand, really. I can't thread this thing. I'm going to have to try and get some pliers. Because can you see... Can you see that bit there? Or well, all the threads going through there, so I need to squeeze them together so that that doesn't happen. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. We're at um, the barn, plant and garden centre for some lunch. Lunch. It's really nice actually compared to yesterday's snowy walk. Oh, it is. Oh, oh. That sounds like I feel. Yeah. Oh, I'm a bit wobbly today. <laughs> kind of wobbly, ain't she? Wobbly. I love the smell when you go into a garden centre. It's like, have you seen these umbrellas? No. Oh yes, I have. With the pictures on, yeah. I I love them. There's yeah. not one open. So I might really like one of them. There was a lady. I think she had the bird one in town, oh, nice. and it was so pretty. They're not oh, dear. Yeah. Ten pounds. Yeah, They've got bags okay. to match. My bum wouldn't fit in that. Well, no, I don't think it's designed for it. <laughs> I think it's a more, more a child's. Plants, plants. I haven't been here for years, I don't think. Oh, they've got clothes as well. That's lovely, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. 
I like the one with the little doggy on. Yeah. I wouldn't get all my stuff in there. Yeah, you'd get it in there. Well, no, I bought one of those water bottles that you said. Oh, yeah. And it's huge. Fills up. Get it in here. And I'm it with it. Yeah. Right, there's nice and empty in here, so I don't know what I'm Go in, it's just gone 12. Well, yeah. we, they'll be serving lunch now then. Oh, yeah. Let's hope so. Starving. Right, take a table. Okay. Where can we take a table to? Reserved for dawn. That's reserved. That's reserved. <laughs> it's busy, isn't it? Good grief, it's windy out there. Oh, just got flipping blown into the car. Surprised more things haven't gone over. Right, God, look at the state of me now. Turn that down. Guess where I'm off to? Seated yoga. Bye, Eve. Be good. No weeing everywhere. Right. Yes, it's very windy today. Very windy. Had another rubbish night's sleep again. I was in a lot of pain last night. I should have taken an naproxen really, but I didn't. I don't like taking too many of them because they're quite strong and they can affect my stomach and my stomach's not the best either at the moment. So everything's a bit rubbish with my body. Not my body, it's just my body dealing with things, I guess. That's a better way of putting it. Hello, some joggers are out. Rather you than me, especially in this wind. Try and jog in this wind. It'd be horrendous. So, bit of an update. So like I say, I'm on my way to see to yoga. Didn't go last week because I had to stay at home with Poppy. Not Poppy's fault. She's just poorly. Um, oh, there we go. And I can't go next week because Holly has a hospital appointment. So I thought I've got to go today. Missing too many isn't good because it does me good. So then after seated yoga, I'm off to my friend Tanya's and we are making craft. We're having a craft day. I feel like I've done so much craft at the moment. Well, I have done so much craft at the moment. I'm getting ready for this craft uh, fair we're doing at the beginning of March, but I sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm overdoing it because, oh my gosh, the wind's taking the car. Because I feel like that's kind of my job now, and I wish I didn't look at it like that, and I kept reminding myself yesterday to think, because you enjoy it I think now come on you've got to do some craft today you know we've got to, you've got to make some money and that's not the reason I should be hello um, it's what day are we on Thursday I tried to speak to you yesterday but let me just turn these down a bit because my camera kept dying on me and I'm just waiting to see if it happens again today. It just kept stopping. I think I had it on a wrong setting and it kept stopping for some reason so I'm hoping it will work today. So yeah, I had a good day yesterday. Um, seated yoga followed by craft with my friend Tanya and then what else do we do? Yeah, that's about it. And Holly had her Great Ormond Street Hospital thing, which went well. 
and she was very brave because she has to have a big needle like this big in the back of her head to numb all the nerves to stop her migraines. So she's got to have another one at the end of April, just before the start of her GCSEs. I was drinking my tea. Um, so she's got a headache and that today, but she won't miss school. And uh, today, so far, I've had my eyebrows um, tinted and bikini line wax, not that you really want to know that. And then I went to Aldi's and did the shopping and then I've come back and put all that away, had some lunch and now I'm only just starting to do some craft and it's 20 past two. So not long till the girls be in, an hour or so. Then I've got to cook dinner, we've got haircuts tonight and then I've got choir as well because tomorrow night the choir, well some of us, I don't think there's many of us doing it, uh, performing at um, a pub called The Chapel in Coggeshall. So yeah, we're going to perform there um, about nine o'clock so my friend's coming and then watch that and then there's um, the lady that what do you call them when they they teach you how to sing? I don't know. Anyway, choir master, mistress, whatever she is, Anna, who's incredible, and she's in a band that are playing after the choir, so I'd really like to see that. So I'm just trying to get some enthusiasm. Oh, can you see me? To make some key rings. I made all these. With goggly eyes, don't know if you can see those. And now I've got to put them on because do you remember I at the beginning I tried to do it and it just fell through? Well, Mark has kindly used the pliers to stop that, hopefully. So I'm going to give that a go now and then crack on with all the other stuff I'm shattered. I'll tell you what else I've done today, actually. I have. Um, I've done a workout, well, so a workout, well it was actually, it's quite hard going, for, especially for fibromyalgia, this uh, woman was, I can't remember what she was from, but yeah, she makes like workout routines, especially for people with fibromyalgia and chronic pain, and it actually, it wasn't too bad, there was a few times when we, we were doing some like, lunge squat things and my knee was like ow so you just like she said she really wants you to listen to your body while you're doing it and adjust things so I just didn't go down as low um, but I did the whole thing and she said about doing it twice a week so I'm going to try and aim for two to three times a week if I can because it doesn't take very long and just see if it helps like she said it helps to keep your muscles going and toned and you know because your muscles can easily just diminish while I'm not doing as much as it was.
to get the uh, Guinea's nails clipped and Toffee's bum hair trimmed. Nice. Yeah. They're in there, look. Wait, can we see them? Gins! Going on an adventure. They're like, yeah, great. I'm going to go back home. I wonder which one's going to be a pest this time. Alice. Think? Mm -hmm. We shall see. Get the car washed because it's easier. But the guineas are going through the car wash as well. Well, they're not being washed in a car wash, Hi. but they're, you know, experiencing the car wash. What? Get that dirty windscreen. Can you do that bit inside as well? No. no. This way, this way, this way. Bit more, bit more. What's your time? Don't know. He's doing hand gestures. Yes. How are the guineas? Here we go. Car oh, wash is dancing. I used to love coming through the car wash when I was younger, but we didn't do it very often because we washed the cars every Sunday. They look alright. I thought Alice was like. Let's see Alice's bum. I didn't. Yeah. It's not doing good from running from the shed, is it? Who are Mrs. Others two. So, but they're always running late, which is well. I've gone deaf. Flipping it. Wash one. Oh, feel worn out after that. Turbo dry. Hey, it goes. And look in the pet shop. They're like, what's going on? Why are we not at home? 
There's a finger coming in. <laughs> They're just stationary. It's quite a good view from up here, isn't it? Of the shop. That's weird. That take up Holly's whole fish tank. Fishies. Fishies. Male guppies. Female ones, yeah. No, we don't want female. We've got male. If you have female, we'll have too many babies. Look at those. They're cute, aren't they? Look at the little tails on them. They're guppies, en endler guppies. Snails. <laughs> Holly's got a little snail. Yeah, because it got in with some weed that um, she bought. An escapee snail. <clears throat> Dog stuff. We're after some guinea, not straw, guinea sawdust, that's it. <laughs> uh, no. 15 99 That'll do. That's it. Well, the guineas have had their nails trimmed and their, well, Toffee's had a bum for, what did you call it? Where they shave it with the... Shave. Shaved, would you say? Cut. Trimmed. Anyway, whatever. No, it's not trimmed. So, literally all of it got cut off. Well, yeah. Um, they were very good. They were well behaved, weren't they? Alice only had one little moment. So, they were very well behaved. Now we're taking them back. Um, and I think they'd be pleased to get back in their, their cage, really. So, that's it for this week. And remember, if you like my vlogs, to subscribe and then you'll get notifications every time I put a new one up. And if you like them, hit the thumbs up, which would be nice. Leave me any comments you want or suggestions, anything you want me to answer. And I'll see you next week.